Good morning, friends. It looks like a beautiful day today, and that makes me happy. Do you remember happy? Happy. Very nice. And you know what? I realized in our good morning songs, we have a lot of other friends that we could be saying hi to. So should we say hi to those friends as well? Let's give it a try. But we'll start with you guys. Well, it's so easy to say hello, and it's so easy to say hello, it's so easy to say, say hello to you. Well, we say hello to Amir for today. Hi, Amir. Say hello to Ryan for today. Hi, Ryan. Say hello to Leandro for today. Hi, Leandro. Say hello to you, and we say hello to Emma for today. Hi, Emma. Say hello to Zaid for today. Hi, Zaid. We're gonna say hello to Miss Mangoni for today. Hi, Miss Mangoni. Say hello to you. Who else can we say hi to already? We're gonna say hello to Miss Carter, Principal Carter, for today. Hi, Miss Carter. Say hello to Miss Muhammad for today. Hi, Miss Muhammad. We'll say hello to Jamie for today. Hi, Jamie. Everyone say hi to Jamie. Say hello to you. Well, it's so easy to say hello. And it's so easy to say hello. Well, it's so easy to say hello, we say. Hello to you. Wow, how nice to say hello to all of our other friends. And all of those friends are at home too. <gasps> Miss Muhammad's at home. Miss Carter's at home. <gasps> Miss Margoni's at home. And Jamie's at home. Everybody is at home right now because that's what we are all doing, right? But everybody still likes you guys so much and they miss you. And we'll all get to see each other soon. How exciting! So, what are we going to do today? We're going to sing some songs, do some calendar, check out the weather, and we're going to do some shapes, because I love shapes. Let's see. Alright, let's check out our weather graph for the month of J June. Because it is June. And let's see what the weather's like today. If you go to your window... Does it look like it is sunny outside where it's bright and you can see the sun and it's maybe warm by the window? Or is it cloudy where it's dark outside and you can't see the sun, you just see some clouds in the sky and it's dark? Or is it rainy where beautiful rain is falling and making the grass grow and the trees grow? But wet, 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 wet. Well... Why don't you go to the window and look outside and see what it's like, and I'll count us to 10. So remember, for 10, we're going to count to 5, and then we're going to count to 5 again. Let's do it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Once again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Because if we count to 5 twice, it is 10. All right. So I've looked out my window, and guess what? For me, it is sunny out when I go to my window. It's bright. I see the sun in the sky, and it is warm. So I'm going to find my sunny column. So can you point to sunny? Point. Bink. And then once we point, we're going to go up to the first open part. Oh, there it is. And we're going to fill that in. Here we go. And then, how many spaces of sunny do we have? Let's count. One, two. There we go. So, we have one, two, sunny, and one, two, cloudy. Are these numbers the same? Do we have two in each of these columns right here? Yes, they are the same. One, two, and one, two. But what about rainy? Is rainy the same? Or is it different? Because cloudy, we have one, two. Rainy, we have 
Zero. We have nothing. So those are different. Very good, my friends. All right. So the month is June, and so many cool things are happening in June. But one of them is that it is National Indigenous Peoples History Month, which is so cool. You might not know what that means, but what it means is that everybody's come from somewhere. So my uh, family, like my mummy's 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 mummy, came to Canada a really long time ago, and she came from England. And my daddy's 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 daddy came over from, I think, Scotland. And all of our families came from somewhere. So maybe your family came to Canada only a little while ago, or maybe your family's been here a super long time. But everybody's come from somewhere, except for the cool indigenous people of Canada because they're the cool people who they they were here at the beginning they were here before any of us came over and sometimes we don't get to hear about their stories or talk about their stuff so it's sort of important that we do and June is one of the months when uh, we can do that so there's a song that I learned when I was in school it's called Music Alive and it's written by a really cool Cree which is like an area or a, a area where indigenous people live in Canada or I'm not finding the right words. I'm sorry. I'm still learning. But, and her name is Cheryl. So, hmm, I'm going to work on this one too. Ready? Sawi, Sawi Pagahem. Sawi Pagahem. And you know what? Sometimes we don't quite know how to pronounce things or sometimes we're lost for words, but that's okay. Because we're all learning and trying, right? And that's all we can do is try. So it's a really cool song. And you can either clap along or usually when I do this song, I have a drum. And drums are so cool. But I don't have a drum on me. Uh, but what you can do is you can clap. Or you could grab something like a book. This isn't a book, but that. Or and do that along with me. And one of the reasons we can use a drum is there's lots of cool um, music that Indigenous people do in Canada, but the drum is a huge instrument that they use. And so we're going to be clapping or using a drum. So we can clap together. And we're going to sing the song. And then I'm going to explain what it means and we'll try it again. It's going to be super fun. So I know most of the words, but I'm going to have it beside me anyway, because a couple of them are a little tricky. So let's give it a try. Because part of it in English and part of it is a language called Cree. How cool is that? All right, let's try. Raising voices together across the nation. Take a stand, this is our generation. Sing a song, sing along. We bring the music alive. Are you guys clapping? Hey na na hey na hey na na hey ya. Na pi se sak is qui se sak. Hey na na hey na hey na na hey na. So ki mama we naked mak. So ki mama we naked mak. Whoa, were you clapping along? So some of those words you might not have known because they were in Cree. But we know what they mean, and I'll tell you. So one thing we heard was, na pise sak means boys, like you guys out there, like Amir and Ryan and Leandro and Zaid. And then another thing we heard was, um, esquise hmm. sak is girls, just like Emma, just like me, just like Miss Marangoni. <gasps> Pretty cool, eh? And then the last part, was Soki Mama We Nikamok means we sing strong together. Is that pretty cool? So now that we've done it once, do you think we can clap and do it again? Let's give it a try. And even if you can't sing all the words, you can sing along with the tune or sing along in your head, right? Let's give it one more try. All right. Raising voices together across the nation. Take a stand, this is our generation. Sing a song, sing along. We bring the music alive. Here we go. Hey na na, hey na, hey na na, hey ya. Na pi se sak is qui se sak. Hey na na, hey na, hey na na, hey ya. So ki mama we nek mak. 
So keep mama we make a mark. Yay! What a cool song. So now you know a little bit of Cree, which is an indigenous uh, language from Canada. That's really cool. Good job, guys. So, like I was saying, Indigenous Heritage Month is in our month of Jaja June. Very nice. So if yesterday was the third... What day is today? So how do we find it? Can you touch the day today is? This one right here. And we're going to go up. And then what day is that? Th -th Thursday, right? And if we ever can't remember, we can try to think of the order in the song. So we're going to sing it. Ready? We go. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, around again. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. <gasps> Thursday! I knew you were singing it in your head. So that's what I do sometimes when I can't remember. I'll sing the song, and my brain will fill in the blank for me. My brain will say, oh yeah, Wednesday, Thursday, yes! So good. So it is Thursday, June. And what day comes after three? After three is... One, two, three, four. After three is the number four. Good job, my friends. So it is Thursday, June 4th. Awesome. Hello. I thought we would do another song. Oh, I'd like to visit the moon because there are so many cool places that we can go and see once this uh, little time is finished and we can think about all the fun places we would like to go once we're you know able to leave the house and go back to school and do fun stuff so we can think about it because that's a place I'd like to go I'd love to go back to school and it's gonna happen soon don't worry and we'll all get to hang out so let's give it a try well I'd like to visit the moon on a rocket ship high in the air Yes, I'd like to visit the moon But I don't think I'd like to live there Though I'd like to look down at the earth from above I would miss all the places and people I love So although I might like it for one afternoon How oh, I don't want to live on the moon I'd like to travel under the sea Like to meet all the fish everywhere Yes, I'd travel under the sea But I don't think I'd like to live there I might stay for a day there if I had my wish But there's not much to do when your friends are all fish And oysters and clams are my real family Oh, I don't want to live in the sea I'd like to visit the jungle, hear the lions roar Go back in time and meet a dinosaur There are so many strange places I'd like to be But none of them permanently So if I could visit the moon Well, I'll dance on a moonbeam And then I will make a wish on a star and I wish I was home once again Though I'd like to look down at the earth from above I would miss all the places and people I love So although I might go, I'll be coming home soon Oh, I don't want to live on the moon No, I don't want to live on the moon Would you want to live on the moon? I don't know. It'd be pretty far away. I think I like being with my family. That's pretty fun. Shape time. Hello, my friends. We have two different shapes here. And they are very different, aren't they? Because this one is a little bit pointy. And this one seems pretty stable, doesn't it? Because these are all the same. So let's take a look at the pointy one. Does anyone know what this shape is called? It is a ta-ta triangle so do you think we can spell that t what makes a t sound letter t and r r r i what makes that sound i and a ah, a ah. a n n 
N G G J G L L That's a hard one, friends. Let's see. Does anyone know what the L sound is? It is an O, and then ends with a E. Triangle. Look at that. So how many sides does a triangle have? Should we count them? And what's one way to count them? We can use our fingers. So we can go, oops, one, two, three. Three slides. What's another way we could do it? Well, if we want to count them like this, here's one way. One, and then I'm going to put a w one up there. Boop. Two. There's another one. And then, have we done the side yet? I think so, because it doesn't have an orange dot on it. There we go. So that one goes up there. Three. And then we can count our dashes. Ready? One, two, three. So that has three dashes. So I think this has three sides. And look at this, Carly. Made a mess. So it has three sides. And you know how else we can be sure? We can get something like popsicle sticks or pencils. And we can put them on and build our own triangle. Ready? So we can go one, two, three. Whoa, look at that beautiful triangle. Very nice. What about this one right here? This is definitely not a triangle because a triangle has three sides. Does this have three? Let's count. One, two, three, <gasps> four. This one has four sides. And if we're not sure, we can mark them off. Ready? One. I put a dash. Two, three, four. Four sides. Then we can count our dashes. Ready? One, two, three, four. This one has four sides. Does anyone know what shape this is? It is a s -s -squ square. So this one's a fun one to spell. S, -s, -s is S. Then this is an interesting letter. Qua. Qua. That's actually two. So we'll do Q. U. Because these two are almost always together. Then A. A is an A. Then R, R, like a puppy, R, 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 and E. So this one is a square, and it has four sides. Do you think we can do this with popsicles? Let's give it a try. So I got my popsicle sticks, and we're going to give it a go. <gasps> one, two, three, whoops. Four. Amazing! So this square has the four sides. And look at that. The triangle has three. Hey, and what does it sort of look like when we put them together? It looks like a house. There we go. We're doing the doorknob there. And maybe a window. And another window. And how about a chimney coming out the top? Look at that. So we made a house out of a triangle and a square. What else can you make using squares? and triangles. I'd love to see it. All right, friends. All right, I thought we would try our song that we wrote for Emma and for all of our friends who are having so much fun outside. But sometimes, remember, we have to come back indoors. So with that, we have to listen, right? So we got to listen because it's so fun to be outside. But then sometimes, for our friends, we can go outside. But we got to come back in because there's so much more fun things to do inside. So let's give it a try. It's fun to go outside and play in the sun But sometimes we want to stay out even when the games are done Mommy is asking me to please come inside Even though it's nice out here, there's only one way to decide So come on in, come on in, let's come inside Come on in, come on in Let's come inside. 
we can play some inside games and have some food. Hang out with our families, what a happy mood. Coloring and play with blocks, what a happy time. Listening to our families, yours as well as mine. So come on in, come on in, let's come inside. Come on in, come on in, let's go inside. Come on in, come on in, let's go inside. Come on in, come on in, let's go inside. Oh, so nice. Because every time we go outside, we got to come back in. We can eat some chips. We can have fun. We can, you know, just do some fun things inside. All right? All right, my friend. So oh, I'm going to say goodbye, Emma. Goodbye, Amir. Goodbye, Leandro. Goodbye, Zaid. Goodbye, Ryan. Goodbye, Miss Mangani. Bye, Miss Muhammad. Bye. Goodbye, Principal Carter. Goodbye, Jamie. Goodbye to all of our friends. And I'm going to see you all tomorrow. All right.